It's a warm, breezy afternoon here in Viking Stadium, where today your Vikings will host the Stevensville Lakeshore Lancers. Will the Lancers finally have enough to put away the Vikings, or will the Vikings wear yet another team down in the fourth quarter? It's game time. It is time for Viking football. Hello everyone, I'm Andy Hartman along with my tag team partner Dominic Pecora. where today your Vikings will host the Lancers from Stevensville Lakeshore and Dom, they definitely have a big task today do the Vikings. Well, nothing to take anything away from the Lancers, Andy, but they are a one-dimensional team with Antoine Henderson in the backfield. This back is faster than Freddie Russell, who the Vikings had to deal with with Romulus last year. A lot of pressure on Wayne Butler and the rest of the linebackers and defensive line with Jeremy Piscato to shut him down, keep him to the inside, not let him get outside to take advantage of his speed. And also, they have a very dangerous quarterback, too, Dom, so they can also go to the air, too, at times. Yeah, but don't count out, Andy, uh, Alex Williams and Joel Gutsky. Did a great job last week at defending the pass against Chelsea. Should be a good one. Well, we'll be right back after the opening kickoff on here on TV25 Sports. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to yet another great MHSAA playoff game where today your Vikings will host the Lancers from Stevensville Lakeshore. And, Dom, we got ourselves a good one lined up for us today. Indeed we do, Andy. It's going to be a game where the Vikings need to shut down Antoine Henderson early. They have to keep him inside. If he gets the outside, it's going to be a long day for our defensive backs. When your defensive backs have to make the tackles, you're in for a long day. Yeah, they're definitely going to have a tough task of ma maintaining uh, Henderson inside because uh, he was the one who beat uh, Freddie Russell from uh, Romulus in the 100-meter dash in the state finals last year, Dom. Yes, he was, Andy. He is tremendously fast. He has great speed to the outside. He is capable of the big play, as many teams have found out this year. But a lot of pressure on Wayne Butler, Jeremy Piscato, Brad Hildebrand, and the Viking defense to get the job done. And the Lancers, Dom, come in at 7-3, and three, but uh, they've... We're going to go down to Lawton Lunt, Sandy, excuse me. Lawton? Welcome, everyone, once again to Hazlitt High School as the 11-0 Hazlitt Vikings get ready to do battle with the 7-3 Stevensville Lakeshore Lancers. Hazlitt not looking to change anything in their offense today. Until now, Hazlitt has rushed the ball for over 4,000 yards this season. Star running back Peter Erig with 1,700 of those yards. The, expect the Viking offense to pound the Lancer defense on the ground today. On the other side of the ball, the Lancer offense also very powerful on the rushing attack, led by Antoine Henderson, who averaged 11.4 yards per per carry this season. That's a first down every time he touches the ball. The Hazlitt defense does not want to let him get loose anywhere. Expect to be a huge rushing battle. The winner goes to the state semis next week. Now back up to Andy and Dominic. Thanks, Lawton. As you said, the winner goes on to the state semis to host the winner of the Bay City John Glenn um, Grand Rapids Creston game. Should be a good one. Bay City John Glenn High school, Andy? I believe that is correct. Hopefully no mixed feelings from you should that game take place. No, you know where my loyalties lie. So the Lancers there take the field, and they got a little bit of size to them, Dom. Yes, they do. Andy, in pregame warm-ups, we noticed, we were remarking to ourselves how small they looked, and that's because the big boys were in the locker room. Yeah. And once they took the field, it seemed to change the whole complexion of the team. Big following as well. Yeah, that's nice to see. Here on a great, day, great afternoon here in Viking Stadium. Then it gets set here. They're introducing the players. 
big task though to, to stop number four, Antoine Henderson. And also uh, another big job is to sh shut down um, Scott Merrill, the quarterback down. One thing though, Andy, for the Viking offense is the Lakeshore defense has been susceptible to the pass all year long. You might, want, you might see Nick Shively and Ryan Walker used as a combination early in the game, try to put some points quick on the board. Yeah, and as Lawton was saying to uh, saying earlier, the reason though that they are just seven and three is because uh, they were they lost two games because they had an ineligible player, and then they lost to uh, Fruitport Dom, who was one and eight, and that was Fruitport's only win of the year. So yeah. every dog has their day, Andy. I don't think you're going to see the same Lakeshore High team that you saw that night. Here moves on to uh, the semis, I think at Jackson again this year. Big saw such an unusual atmosphere, Andy, in the afternoon. Playing a Saturday afternoon game here at Viking Stadium, a stadium in which no team has won since 1997. It's definitely different here, Dom. I def definitely a different feeling here playing in the afternoon. 13 consecutive victories here for the Vikings at home. Shot of the guys going out on the field being introduced. Would we dare to suspect some more fantastic grabs by Ryan Walker today, Andy? I would dare say that that's going to happen. They're pumped down. They look ready to go. This team's been there so many times before, just flowing through ex with experience throughout the team. I don't think anything can scare this bunch of guys. Oh, a lot of heart out there, Dom. Should take a look at number 43, Matt Wittett, encouraging his teammates. Looks like the Vikings will receive to start the game as Lakeshore deferred to the second half. Their aver something we hear interesting on Lakeshore, their average points scored per game is 31, and the, only, the average points that they've let up is only 17. So pretty strong defense seems like there so far. Solid defense all the way around. And as for the Vikings, they've averaged scored 40 points a game and have only let up 11 points a game. So, Ouch. Yeah, not looking so good right now for the Lancers. Well, they know what they have to do. What they have to do is give the ball to Antoine Henderson often. Yep. Early and often. That's gonna definitely have to, they're gonna have to set the tone for this game coming down here, playing at a hard place to win. As you said, no one has won here since 97. And the Vikings haven't faced a back of this magnitude so far this year. Interesting to see how the defense responds. Yep. But the offense will get the ball to start the game. It's number 28, Alex Williams, and 22, Peter Eric, and number five, Chris Hunter, back deep for the Vikings. I'd like to see Pete get the ball early and just run it down their throats. So we get set here. <laughs> Thanks, I like that too. Lancers kick it off deep. It'll be taken by Eric. Takes it to about the 20. Tripped up, gets close to about the 21-yard line. Vikings will take over there, first and 10, good field position. Nice return by Eric of about 19 yards. Gets it past the 20-yard line. And Nick Shibley will take the controls here against the Lancer defense. Like, as you said, has been impressive this year. I uh, wonder if Shibley's uh, separated shoulder is healed. He's had time. Look, last game, looked like he was hurting him a little bit, but still was managing to throw, and he threw very well last game. Well, we've seen continued improvement over the past two games, Andy, which can only be a good sign for today. So I don't think Coach Atlusi is going to be holding anything back against this, this Lancer ball club. First and 10 now for the Vikings here on their own 20-yard line. Shadley gets set looking over the defense. Gonna hand it off to 22. Eric slips up. Looks like some missed blocks there on that play. Maybe a yard gain. Eric seemed to lose his footing in the backfield there. He's tripped up for a loss. Bring up second and 12 for the Vikings. Eric, among a few other players, was complaining about the footing last week against Chelsea. It is a warm, breezy day today. Not quite sure how much footing will be a factor. Nevertheless, a three yard or a two yard loss in the play. Bring up second and 12. Shadley here looking over the defense here. Hard count. Counter it to 
23 Coping who gets maybe a, a yard. Well, you see the Lancer defense anticipating the run early, Andy. And they have two plays of negative two yards combined to show for it. So I'm up third and long here. An obvious passing down for Coach Atluski. See how conservative he's going to play it early in the game. Fans here getting loud here, trying to give support for the Vikings. Hands it off to Eric. Barrels forward. There's. Looks like there's a fumble on the play. Looks like he was down though. Down. Oh. Like tough break there. Very the close Vikings. call by the referee. That's a great defensive series there by the Lancers. Shut down the Viking offense very quickly, very effectively. Well, three consecutive runs, Eric Colpin and then Eric again. Shut down completely by the Lakeshore defense. And Shut, looks, sorry, sorry, uh, number 25, Pat Hale, back to receive the punt by Nick Shively. Let's kick off, end over end. Gets to about the 50-yard line, and that's where the Lancers will take over there at the 50-yard line. Fantastic field position for the Lancers to start their first offensive series, Andy. We get just short of the 50-yard line. We get to see uh, exactly what uh, Henderson has as he takes the field here for his first series. Defensive backs might have to get involved in the game, Andy. Try to cut down uh, Henderson's yardage. You see Eric here. Ball question questionable that popped out. I think he was down. Good call by the officials. They're going to option it. Here's number 11. Jeff Dock keeps it for the Lancers. Nice fake there to the fullback by Dock. He went right up the gut. Gain of seven on the play. Bring up second and three, Andy. Second and third now on the 43 yard line. I'd like to see him give it to Henderson here. I want to see what this kid has, Dom. They give it to Henderson and lunges forward, close to the first down. I think he might get it on forward progress there, Andy. Took some quick steps up the middle there. Didn't get to see it quite as uh, he got breakaway it. speed. And indeed, it is a first down, as you said. So they're inside the 40-yard line already. <laughs> Tough break there. Looks like he may have come up short, may have stopped him down, but good hard. Good run there by Henderson. We've got Butler, Boyce, Dutcher, Hildebrand, and Piscato up on the line. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Lancers. To the 40 yard line. It's number 44, Alan Tolas, big fullback, carries it forward for about three or four yards. Impressive run there by Tolas. He's second and six. So he got about four yards on the play. Bring up second down and six inside the Viking 35-yard line. Yes. They're keeping the ball on the ground early, Andy. They got split ends, though, Dom. As Doc will keep it on the keeper, he's off and running. He's inside the red zone. What a fake by Doc, Andy. As he ran forward for about a 34-yard gain. Great fake to the fullback there. First and goal here for Stevensville Lakeshore. This offense is impressive, Andy. Very impressive. Vikings need to hang together here. We're gonna take a look at the replay. Uh, previous run by Doc. See, he fakes it to Henderson. Takes it all the way on the keeper to about the seven yard line. The counter to the big fullback 44. He's going to be stopped. May have gotten a yard. Nice pursuit by the Viking defense. Brought down by number 55, Dustin Johnson, among others. It's a big, strong back they got there, Don, number 44. Bring up second and five now for the Lancers. We get to see Dot go in the air. We've seen what he can do on the ground. Well, this is the kind of offense, I think, where you really do, they have so many ground weapons. I don't think they need to go to the air yet, Don. So they're going to hand it off to Henderson, who's going nowhere. Excellent pursuit there by the Vikings. 
Great job by number 53, Wayne Butler, as he continues to impress for the Vikings defense. Henderson picked up about a yard inside the five to the four, bring up third down. Critical play here for the Vikings defense early. You'd love to keep him out of the end zone. Yep, like to just get him, give him the three down instead of giving him seven. Not sure whether this is four down territory yet for Denny Dock, but take care of third down first. Watch the sneak again, Don. It's been working so far. Doc's going to keep it. There's a fumble. Oh. Well, I think they're going to call him down. I'm not sure what the call is. Did the ball come loose? I thought the ball came loose because I saw number 28, Alex Williams, come up with it. It's going to be fourth and goal on the one-yard line. and Looks like they're going to bring in the kicking team. I don't know. They might Perhaps be going not. for it. Looks like they may be going for it. Here it is. They're going to be going for it. Six minutes into the game. Vikings defense has to come up big here. They got it. Touchdown, Lancers. Number 44, Andy Allen Tallis. Forward progress carried him above the goal line, apparently. They jump out on top first, six to nothing. 6.37 left in the first quarter. Very quick snap there, Dom. May have uh, yep. caught the Vikings off, off the guard a little bit. Maybe a little reverse psychology thinking the Vikings would be waiting for the mm -hmm. long snap. This kick is up. Splits the uprights, and it's good. As the Lancers jump on top here early, 7 to nothing. Viking offense going to get their second possession here. Going to stick to their game plan, remain confident. Possibly get Walker involved in the offense as they trail here, 7 to nothing. We have mentioned, Andy, this is a team that has struggled in the first half so far in the playoffs. As we're going to take a look at the replay of Talis Rumble his large self into the end zone. And nevertheless, 7 0 Lakeshore. And it's definitely a large kid, Dom. 6'2, 240. That's a big, strong back you got right there. Vikings look for a big return here as they have number five, Chris Hunt, number 22, Peter Eric, and number 28, Alex Williams, back to return. Vikings are going to have to get something started here. No, it's, it's, it's early, Dom, but you still don't like that momentum to keep just going back to Lakeshore. Well, Andy, if I think if you see another third and long situation, you're not going to see Coach Atluski go with a, go with a counter play. Right. You might see him go to the air. He's got Ryan Walker, Shively's favorite target, as we've said so many times. Affectionately referred to as a favorite target. That, that's good <laughs> quality stuff, if you ask me. <laughs> Kick is into the end zone. That's, That's gonna a be a live. touchback. Yeah, there you go. Smart play by Williams. Didn't think he could get past the 20 yard line, but that was a high kick. Gave the Stevensville special team players a lot of time to get down there. Had to go into the end zone. Touchback. Vikings to start out at the 20 yard line. That's where they started out last time, Don. Maybe this time they can get some uh, momentum going and get the ball moving a little bit. First and 10 here on the 20-yard line. Shively comes up to the line here, looks over the defense. Shively's going to keep it on the keeper. There's a flag. That's going to be, I believe, a legal block on number 57 for the Vikings, Steve Davich. It was a shame because Shively almost split the seam and would have had a lot more yardage. Yep, it's going to be field. on the Vikes. It is a clip. That's gonna bring him. That's gonna bring him way back inside the five-yard line, Dom. Tough break. Let's bring up a first and very long for Hazlitt. He'll get it on the ten-yard line now, so it'll be first and a long 20 yards, I think. Yep, first and 20 for the Vikes. Got to do something here. Can't be too conservative. Alushki's going to probably have to do something. Give it to number 20. No, I'm sorry. Give it to number 33, Adam Hinman. Gets up. up to about the 14-yard line. Four-yard run by Hinman. We'll set up a second and 16 here for Hazlitt. A lot of yardage remaining before that first mark, first down marker, Andy. Seems like so far the Lakeshore is anticipating uh, 
all the run plays and Vikings are just uh, looks to be that way as Coach Port paces around the sideline. Can't, can't be too impressed with the no. way this game started. There's a flag. Looks like it might have been offsides there in the Lancers, Dom. I think I don't think any of the Vikings moved. Let's see what the call is. Yes, it is going to be offside. It's going to be on the Lancers. That's a gift of five yards. We'll take it. Good hard count by Shadley. Vikings will take yards here early any way they can get them. This will bring up second and 11 here in the 19-yard line with about 5.36 to go here in the first quarter. The Lancers on top, 7-0. Shadley's going to keep it. Gets close up to the line of scrimmage. Shadley might have got a yard there, Andy, if that. Bring up third and long here for the Vikings. I really think you're going to see the Vikings go to the air this time. Third, They really need a first down, something to get the offensive flow going. Some kind of momentum to build on. Yep. Need something here, Dom. Shadley here looking to throw. Hits number 84, Jeff Thalen around the side. It's going to be about six yards short, Andy. Yep. Fortunately, Walker was in double coverage downfield. Thalen was his only open receiver. He hoped he could break it. He had a defender penetrating in on him. Bring up fourth down for the Vikings, and they will have to punt yet again. Another great defensive stop by the Lancers. I'm very impressed so far with their defense so far today, Don. Well, Andy, here's what you're going to, this is when you're going to see what the Vikings defense is really made of. They really they need to come up with a stop here. They cannot afford to go down 14 points or 10 points early in the game. Shively kicks it away from number 25. Pat Hall. Lancers will take over on the 46-yard line. Another great field position there for the Lancers. The Lancers will take over here for their second possession. Very, very good field position, as you said, Andy. For the Lancers, it's not making anything easy on them or hard on them when they get to start the 46-yard line. Yep. Let's see what Doc has here. Might see a steady diet of running as we did in the first series. <laughs> Doc's going to give it to Antoine Henderson. He's going nowhere. Great pursuit there by number 77, Brandon Dutcher, and number 53, Wayne Butler. As they held Henderson to about a yard, bring up second and nine here for the Lancers. It's be second and nine, as you said, down on the 45-yard line with 344 here to go in the first quarter. Got split ends here. Henderson and Tallis in the backfield. They're going to pitch it out to Henderson. He's going to try to get to the outside. He's met by a host of Vikings. He's going nowhere again. Good play by number 52, Jeremy Piscato, not biting on the fake. Vikings can't miss uh, the first tackle like that as they did there. A good overall effort by the defense. And I'll bring up third and long here for Stevensville. Big play right here for the Vikings defense, Andy. I'd like to see uh, Doc here go to the air here, possibly. Well, they may just pound it up the middle there with Tallis. Now they have the ability to get set, or nine yards on the ground, Andy. Yep. There's going to be a draw to Henderson. He fumbles the ball. Recovers it. But oh, barely, Andy. He had number 70 for the Vikings. Kyle, or I'm sorry, number 70 for the Vikings. Dave McManaman bearing in on him. We have fourth down for Lakeshore, and they will be forced to punt as Henderson could not control the handoff. Great job by the Viking defense. They'll get the ball back here. Still down 7 0 with 2.34 left in the first quarter. That's going to bring the momentum, hopefully, back for the Vikings down. Been uh, so far unsuccessful here on getting the big plays on the ground. Only about three or four yards a carry. Something that's not a uh, very precedent of the Vikings. Andy? Yes, sir. What, what in Sam Hill is a Lancer? Um, I don't know. Is it like a Cavalier? Like Corona? I don't know. <laughs> that's going to bounce it. Get in the end zone. Oh, excellent down punt like on the two yard line. 
Oh, bar, ball's going to be marked on the, oh, bar, gonna be on the three yard line, Dom. Great job by the Lakeshore special team players to get down there, keep the ball from going in the end zone, which would have given the Vikings the ball in the 20. The offensive starting positions do not get any easier here, Andy. Nope. They will. We're going to take a look at the replay by the, of the punt. As you see Shively check into the game here. Look at the replay, the good pursuit by the Vikings to try to block the kick. Alex Williams let it go. And unfortunately for the Vikings, stayed inbounds and they take over here on their own three yard line. A lot of yards to go for the Vikings. It's number 23, Chris Coping carries the ball maybe for a yard. We have second and nine here for the Vikings. The Vikings stick to the ground on first and second down, or first down rather. Shot at number 53, Wayne Butler there on your monitor. I'd like to see the Vikings open it up here, Andy. If I'm Coach Atluski, I'm gonna keep keep trying to get the ball to Ryan Walker. Yep. Basically, if you get in the general vicinity of him, he won't come down with a catch. Let's see what they do here. There's a counter to number 33, Hinman. May have lost the yard on the carry. I'm very impressed down with this uh, defense. They're not letting anything on the ground. Lake Shores eating the Vikings up in the backfield early. They have not yet got their first first down of the game. This will be third and a long 10 to go. Vikings need to do something here to get momentum started. With one minute to go here in the first quarter. A long nine yards, Andy. Shively here looking to throw. He's going to be sacked in the end zone for a safety. Uh, unbelievable. Tough break for the Vikings. Nick Shively pumped once. Walker was in somewhat coverage. He was taken down in the end zone. Vikings fall behind here by nine points. And what a confidence boost this will be for Lakeshore defense. So they tackle the Vikings in the end zone, which equals two points, and they will get the ball back. Vikings have been in this hole before, but Dom, they're just not doing anything out there on the field right now, Dom. They just can't pound the ball in anywhere. They are struggling early, Andy, I'll give you that. As you see, good pursuit there for the Lancers by number 53, Adam Tilly. But that, that's, the threat you, that's the threat that faces you when you start on the three yard line, Andy. Yep. One, one big loss, and that's two points for the other team plus the ball. The so Lancers here will get the ball back here as they lead nine nothing here with 43 seconds to go in the first quarter. Vikings defense has to dig deep, come up with another great series as they did last time. Once again, Andy, get the ball back build something. A turnover would be immense at this point in the game. Oh, it's, defense is definitely doing their job. Offensive line, they're just not, they just can't do anything right now. Offense is just stalling on every drive. Number 14, Dan Hoff gets set here to kick. Kicks it to number 31. He's going to get to a close to the 50-yard line. Again, great field position. I, I question that squib kick, Andy. You're giving Lakeshore a good field position, which they've had already twice today. They've already got nine points on the board. You've got to kick that ball deep, in my opinion. Yep. Nevertheless, the Viking defense will take over with the ball in their own territory. It's, it, especially, Dom, you got to kick it deep, especially when your offense is still struggling to get anything going. I mean, exactly. You, exactly. Give, you give them right there at the 50-yard line, and... Half field to go, and yep. you got Henderson in the backfield and Talis, the big fullback. We He's haven't even seen yet what what Doc can throw. Yeah, yet. what Doc can throw. Excuse me. Definitely don't want the Lancers to get on top here any more than what they already are. Doc's gonna hand it off to Henderson. He pitches it back. Doc's gonna throw it up. He's got number 82 down the field. Catches the ball inside the five. That is number 28, Alex Williams, was just torched, Dom. As you see, the flea, flick, flea flicker work to perfection, Andy. A give to Henderson, he pitches it back to Doc, lets it fly, finds the receiver inside the five-yard line. Alex Williams didn't know where the ball was. 
Tough break for Williams. Can't really fault him there. Nevertheless, first and goal here for Lakeshore. Excellent catch there by number 82, Shane O'Neill, as he just blew past Alex Williams. It'll be first and goal now here for the Lancers with about 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. We're seeing what's happening for the Lancers when they do open up the offense and go to the air. Number 44, Hollis runs it for about a yard or two gain. Look at the replay of the flea flicker. I can't say that. As you see the hard count by Doc. He gives it to Henderson. You can't see in the picture. Pitches it back to Doc. Let's it fly. Finds his receiver as we come to the end of the first quarter. So at the end of the first quarter here, the Lancers are on top, 9-0, threatening to put in another 7, Dom. And this well, Andy, I think it's safe to say this is the worst quarter of Viking football we've seen so far this year. They cannot get anything going offensively. The defense has been so-so. It was good on the one series. They bit on the flea flicker on that last play. And Lakeshore looks to go up by 15, 16 points here. They will have the ball on the one-yard line when the second quarter starts as Coach Otluski gives some instruction to his quarterback, Nick Shively, trying to figure out something to break, up, break apart this Lakeshore bonded defense. Just so unprecedented right now, the Vikings. Just, you're not used to this kind of, uh, kind of, they're basically, they're taking a pounding right now. Well, they're not used to it. Like we said, Andy, they have struggled in the first half in the past couple weeks, but we haven't really seen a game dominated by the opposition. Exactly. And that's what's happened so far in the first quarter as they look to put more points on the board here. Got to wonder on the offensive line part, it's Stefan Gliwa who separated his shoulder in practice this week, how he's feeling. And the last second and goal here from the two yard line, Andy. I think it's, uh, I'm not gonna jump out to conclusions, but I'm safe to say that this is gonna be punched in. Hollis Bowles forward for a touchdown, Lancers. Just like that, Andy, it's 15 to nothing, pending the extra point. Talis used his big frame to bowl into the end zone for the second touchdown so far today. Tough break for the Vikings. They really need to suck it up. They got to make it happen right now. They cannot let this game get out of hand. It is still potentially two possession ball game. Kick is up and it's good. As the Lancers jump out to a 16 to nothing lead right now over the Vikings. This is the largest deficit by far for the year for the Vikings. Maybe they're not used to the daytime games. Maybe things just aren't going right. But something needs to change pretty quick. Some, you're de definitely right what you said, Dom. Something needs to be changed, and it needs to be changed yeah. fast. As we look at the replay here, Tallis penetrates through the Vikings defense and just over the goal line to give his team a 16-point advantage. We get set here as the Vikings get reset to receive the kick from number 20, Hans Kopenhofer. Oh, that's a tough deal to say. <laughs> you really like to see a big return here, Andy. Something to spark this Viking offense. You got Peter Eric back in the middle between Chris Hunt and Alex Williams once again, as we saw previously on the other three kickoffs. Huge differences so far today in field of field position too. Vikings have only been able to get it up to about the 20 and Lancers yeah. have had it about midfield every possession down. If you look at the Vikings three possessions, the 21, the 20, and the three, the Lancers have started no worse than their own 49. Yeah. Is there's a squib, it's onside, there's a loose ball. The Vikings got it, Hildebrand. Smart play, quick thinking by the senior to fall on the ball. Good field position, Andy, for the Vikings. They'll take over at about the 44 and a half yard line. Like, he's got to put something together here as Nick Shadley comes into the game. They need something. Lakeshore does seem, or doesn't seem hesitant to put a lot of men up front to try to keep the running game contained. I'm just, I'm just so impressed right now with the Lakeshore defense. I think we've only gained about six yards on the ground so far today. Not much more of that. Shively here looking to throw, he's got time. Complete to number 40, Walker, over the 40 yard line to the 35, first down, finally. That's what I'm talking about, Andy. Ryan Walker in the flat, takes it to the 34 yard line. Vikings, first, first down of the game. First and 10 here inside the Lakeshore 35 yard line. 
Now they've got a big play. They can't let the drive stall. They've got to keep it going. Keep it going. Got to get some points right here. Shively here coming up to the line. Looks him over. Hand off to number 33, Hinman. Barrels forward for about four yards. Nice run by Hinman to the outside there, Andy. Looked to be stopped short at about the 34. Lunge forward, used his strength. Got to about the 31 and a half. Bring up second down and about seven yards to go for Hazlitt. Got to get the ball to Eric sometime today, Dom. Get him a big, big hole to run through. Yeah, Peter was un unfortunate with a footing on the first yep. carry of the game. See if they can get him involved here somehow. They hand it off to Hinman again. Lunges forward, close to a first down. What an impressive play by Adam Hinman, the junior, using senior-like qualities and lunging forward for the extra yard. Another first down for the Vikings. First and 10 at the 25-yard line, Andy. On the 25-yard line, Dom, now got to definitely punch something. They want seven points. Well, it's the deepest we've been inside their territory by far, Andy. In fact, the first time we've been in their territory. Got to come away with something here. There's a shift there for the Lake Shores. They handed up the gut to 23. Coping, who gets about a yard or two on the carry. Coping was stopped in the backfield originally for a half-yard loss. Lunch forward. Got picked up two yards. Second and eight here for the Vikings. See the offense huddle together. Trying to work on this momentum that they got from the pass to Walker. He's second and nine here now for the Vikings. Scheibel here looking to throw. Just out of reach of number 40, Ryan Walker. Walker had two men behind him there. Couldn't quite see from here how close it was. Nevertheless, an incomplete pass. Bring up third and long here for the Vikings. Big play for the offense. Definitely a big decision right here, Dom. A field goal is nice because it puts you on the board, but I'm sure they want seven points. Well, I think if they get closer, they might take a chance with Dan Hoff. I'm sure Coach Atluska would rather have the first down here. Oh, sure. Look at the replay just out of the reach of Ryan Walker. Shadley here looking to throw. He's got Walker and a catch by Walker, Andy, to the 12-yard line. Excellent lunging catch. Keep the drive going, first and 10. First and 10. Lake Shore having a little problem there containing favorite target, Dom. Favorite target's open, favorite target's gonna catch the ball. Yep. Great hands on Ryan Walker. Take a look at the replay here. As you see, great job by the offensive line. Shadley had all day to throw. Or that was the last incompletion to Walker, rather. Here's the catch to Walker. First and 10 for the Vikings inside the 15. Yeah, as you said, great job by the offensive line, especially not to get the holding, too. Shadley's going to keep it. Chased out of bounds. Maybe lost the yard. I'm not sure. Maybe a little confusion on the play by Shively and his blackers. As he, there was two men penetrating to the outside. Forced him out of bounds. As you see, Wayne Butler watches on. He's had a long day so far on defense. Him and the rest of his troops. Lost a three on that, Dom. So it'll be second and 13 now for the Vikings. I mean, he'd see losses like that in such a crucial drive, Andy. Got to regain those yards and more. Shadley with the hard count. Gives it to number 33, Hinman, who gets tripped up. He gets about a yard or two. I think Hinman might have got back to the original line of scrimmage. Another key third and long here, Andy, for the Vikings, approaching the nine-minute mark of the second quarter. Something we haven't seen a lot of is the handoffs to Peter Eric. I think he's only touched the ball at least once today, Don, which is very unusual. Well, Eric's foot's still bothering him. I don't know if that's playing in at all. A matter of time before Peter Eric gets the ball. It's going to be an official timeout there. Possibly an equipment problem or blood, possibly. Make sure we'll send in a substitution. I was going to say, geez, oh man, no TV timeouts. No <laughs> It's one thing I can't stand. Yeah, we're not. 
Looks like we're going to take care of that situation. Be a long third and nine for the Vikes. You just saw Coach Atluski give instructions to Nick Shively. See what Coach O has up his sleeve here. Third down, nine yards to go from the 12-yard line. Field goal would be nice. Seven would be oh so much nicer. Oh, yes. Hand it off to number 22, Eric. Good scamper by Eric Andy as he got to close to or close to the six-yard line. It's gonna be short of a first down, however. See what Atluski's gonna call here. Vikings gonna spend a timeout. They need to talk about this, Andy. Smart move by Coach Atluski. Fourth and five here. Personally, you're this far in the territory. Go for it. Got yeah. nothing to lose. Down yeah. 16 points now. I'm needing. I, I could see you looking at it from both angles. Sure. But when you get this far on this defense, it's been so tough so far today. You really got to go for the end zone here. Especially though, even if they uh, they go for it and they don't get it, they, at least they're pinning Lakeshore back, which it would be their worst field position of the day, taking over. Yeah. It's it'd be interesting to see how they would respond, starting inside their own 10-yard line, like they would be. I would like what I'd like to see here, Andy, is if they do indeed decide to go for it, maybe possibly see Shively uh, roll out to the far side here, or to the near side here, look for Walker in the corner of the end zone. Well, even in Dom, if they are pinned back Lakeshore, they always got Doc, who has an impressive arm. Yeah. To just throw it's it. He's shown, yeah. So either way, looks like they're going to bring on Dan Danhoff here for three, which is can't question the call can't by question Coach it, no. He wants to come away with some points here. I'm sure. Of Lake Shore will be anticipating the fake, in case anything's on. But I think it's way too risky right now oh. in, the, in the ball game to at least attempt that down. Number 14, Dan Hoff gets set here to kick. Kick is up, and it's good. As your Vikings finally put some points on the board. Nice job by J.J. Dan Hoff. As he hit the 22-yard field goal, cuts his lead to 13. Good call, good call by Coach Atluski. Respectable call. Maybe you know not what? what all the fans wanted, but respectable call. Oh, I'm sure Atluski himself isn't too happy with the three points. I know he wanted seven, but... Oh, there's still lots of time left in this game, Andy. We're at the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. As you see, uh, Coach Mark Bain. Well, as long as the Vikings keep having, like, that last, you know, that one stop, you know, just besides that pass to Doc, they're shutting down Henderson very well. As long as they can continue to do that and key in on Doc, they're not out of this game yet. They're going to need a big play from the defense. Turnover would be nice, but three and out would be nice yeah, as well. Better, yep. Just to get the ball back, put something in the end zone. And it would be nice only being down 16-10 at halftime would, would uh, get some sparks going there for yep. the Vikings. Make sure it does receive the ball after halftime as they did defer. Yes. And the last eight minutes left here. I'd like to see Dan Hoff go deep and get away from the squib kicks. Yeah, definitely Unless wanna... you're going to try the flat out onside, you might as well keep kicking deep. And it's too early for onside kicks. Got to pin Lake Shore back. They've had great field position all game around the 50 yard line. Got to do something, Dan. Dan Hoff gets set to kick. Squibs it again. See, I, Dama, I question that call there by Outlook. I Lewis question team. that call 100%. Works out in their favor as he's brought down the 31-yard line, but if you're not going to try the onside kick, you should really kick it deep, Andy. I have confidence in the Vikings special teams that they're yeah. not going to give up any kind of huge return, and if they, if Lakeshore returned it for a touchdown, then they deserve it. But 30-yard line, they'll take over first and 10. Which has been their worst field position yes, of the day. Which says something for this scoreboard. Yep. So Lakeshore will take over here first and 10 on their own 30-yard line as Doc comes up to the line. Hands it off to Henderson, who's brought down right in the backfield by number 30, Ben Murray. Excellent read. Tenacious tackle by Murray as he cut in the backfield, didn't bite on anything, brought down Henderson for a loss. I'll bring up second down and long here for Lakeshore. Tenacious? Tenacious, I'm expanding myself. I'm very impressed with the use of vocab. Why, right, thank you. You're welcome. It's very studious of you. Indubitably. <laughs> bringing up second and 10 now for the Lancers. 
Doc probably looking here to throw. It's going to be an option. He's going to keep it. He's got no one to pitch it to. It's number 43. That Wittit, Andy. That Wittit brings him down. Excellent tackle. Great play by Wittit. Keying in on the option. Brought down Doc for a short gain on the play. Vikings defense starting to come to life here. Third and 10. Huge play for the defense. As you see, for the Vikings, number 24, Jared Twitchell. The sophomore checks into the game. Definitely got to be uh, got to be looking for the throw again from Doc. You know, he's got the arm. It's number 82, the kid who caught it last time. Shane O'Neill splits out. Probably looking to throw to him. A lot of pressure on Alex Willie Williams. He steps out. He falls on the ground. He's down. I, th I think I think Doc meant to do that, Andy. All designed. <laughs> Great job by the Vikings defense. Three and out, just like they wanted. They'll get the ball back here with plenty of time left for a drive or two before halftime. And you see Williams and Hunt back to receive the punts. Oh, even if they get another field goal down, that's still... Oh, it's something. It's something. And that's going to spark them to get them pumped and ready for the second half. Nice to get a good return by Williams or Hunt here. Can't have any mistakes after that last drop stall by Lakeshore. Kicks it to about, oh, it takes a nice bounce for the Vikings. They'll take over about the 48-yard line. Excellent field position. So we'd like to see Andy ball in Lakeshore territory. First and 10 from the 47. Viking offense takes over again. Down 16 to three. And now Shively, you know, we haven't said a whole, you know, he hasn't been, um, you know, carrying the load as much as he has had to today, but today yep. he's he's carrying the load. He's doing it all today. He's done a fine job today. He's got to keep it going here. And that's a generous spot for Lakeshore. That ball seemed to trickle back, back to the 47. Marked at the 49. Nevertheless, first and 10 for the Vikings. It's the wind, I think. Yeah, it must be. Must be. First and 10 for the Vikings on the 49-yard line. Handed off to Hinman. Dives forward for about two yards. See Hinman there. Lunged over the pile, over the tackle. I believe that was for Lakeshore, number 60. Gage Elkins. Gage? Gage. I guess they must have let him out of the gauge to play the game today. He must have had to put the car in the second gauge. I think his favorite kind of gun is the 12 gauge. Anyway, back to the game. Second and nine here from the 48 yard line for the Vikings. Unbelievable. That was a nice little simile. I do have my qualities. 22, Peter Eric split out left. Handed up the middle to number. 23 coping. See coping bottled up there. May have at the lost line. the yard, Dom. I don't think he got anything on that play. No. Bring up third and a long nine here for the Vikings. Got to get something here. They started with great field position. They've only moved it a yard. Third down here. Much. Uh, I'm giving much respect to the and that's short defense. Not to take anything away from the Lancers. They've done a fine job. Uh, it's unbelievable how well they have stopped the run. Oh, nope. They've anticipated, I'm sure, from step one. Vikings looking to get a timeout here. You see Coach Ford on the sideline. Shabby doesn't see it. Uh, and I don't think they got it off. I don't think time. they got it off. If that's a delay game. That's going to be a backbreaker. That's going to take the ball back five yards. Coach Haluski cannot be pleased there, trying to get the attention of his quarterback for a good six or seven seconds. The timeout, Mike Meese call it. They will indeed, they'll lose the five yards, Andy. They move the ball back into Vikings territory. Since when is there, I really don't understand why there's delay of game in high no. school football. So teams won't try to run out the clock the entire game like Lakeshore well, would be doing to us right now. As Coach Haluski gives some direction here. Now, now, unfortunately, a big third and 14. Mm, not looking so good right now. Third and 14. You know they're going to be keying in on Walker. They've, they've seen what Walker can do so far. Thalen is going to have to open himself up and get open, too. Thalen does have the talent and the skills. And he does have the height. Yep. There's a shot out of on your monitor there of uh, one of the little Hazlitt Viking fans coming out and supporting the team. Full house here today, Dom. Um, I'm glad to see that. On both sides, Andy, no question. Third and a long 14 now for the Vikings. Got to do something here. Shadley looking to throw. He's got time. Oh, 
Well, where's the flag, Andy? That looked like a bit of interference there on the part of number nine for the Lancers, Josh DeGraff. And Hinman couldn't hang on to it, though, yeah. Dom. Yeah, Hinman's still got to come up with that ball. Questionable contact. Nevertheless, fourth, fourth down for the Vikings. They'll need to punt. Defense is doing their job still, Dom. Offense is... Yep. Take a look at the replay here. You see Shadley had all day to throw. Had him and open for a second over the middle. You go slow motion here. You see, eh, that's good defense. That's good defense. My, my fault. And there's going to be a flag on the Vikings. I'm going to bring it back even farther. It's just sloppiness, Andy. Vikings really got, they cannot let this happen. <coughs> really got to stay concentrated. Get the punt away. Shabley gets back set to punt here. Calling the play was too many men on the field. Shabley gets the punt away. Henderson almost had a hand on it. Number 25 takes go! It's a number 30 Murray! He's off and running, oh my God! Would you look at that? Murray still three yards away, gave him the room. What anticipation by Ben Murray, what a break for the Vikings. As he takes the ball inside the 15 yard line. Whoa, what's going on here? And you talk about momentum shifting. Big Mo has just found a home on the side of the Vikings. Dom, they brought it back though. Oh, they're, are they bit. gonna keep it where he fumbled it? I think they're gonna keep it where he fumbled oh. it. Still. <laughs> nice takeover <laughs> at the 26 yard line. Big play for the Vikings. Got to do something now. You get the ball back, you got to do something. Got to get six points here, Andy. Yep. Split ends now for the Vikings, Inman and Walker. Looking to throw to Walker. He's got it. Close to a first down. I think he had it. I think he's got to get progress. it. He was pushed back. Yep. The first and 10. Four minutes, 22 seconds left in the first half, Andy. Viking crowd is buzzing now. As they should be, dang it. Hey, easy on the language. What's that dang it? What's your problem? <laughs> First down here for the Vikings on the 15-yard line. Need a six. Need to get six, Dom. Shadley's going to keep it on the keeper. He's got great blocking downfield. What a block by Pescato, Andy. Oh, I don't know. I thought he was hit late, Dom. Questionable there. Shadley was taken on the bounce rather hard. But decided not to throw the flag. Second and seven now for the Vikings. Or, I'm sorry, second and two at the seven. Clock stops with 3.56 left in the first half. And now, Dom, if they punch Take this in. Take a look in. at the replay, excuse me, Andy. Okay. See Shadley cut to the outside. Way to pick up the block by 52 Pescato. Nice job by the junior Pescato. Good job also not for him to get the, the hold. Is Hinman's hit right at the line. No gain there on that, on that carry. That's unfortunate. Second and two. It's going to bring up another crucial third down for the Vikings. And there's no question about the Vikings. If they punch this in, they need to go for the, just uh, get Dan Huff out there and tack it on and only be down by six. Yep. That's what they're looking for. They got to get the ball in the end zone first, yep. however. Big stand here, third and two now for the Vikings. Shadley here, fakes, he's hit by number 26 in the backfield. He is going nowhere. Some trickery by Coach Atluski. Shadley went, thought he had... Went awry there. Shadley held on to the ball. Didn't fool number 25 of Lakeshore, Pat Hale. Pat Hall, rather. And now the Vikings find themselves in a big hole. It's quite unfortunate. He had the ball on the seven-yard line, second and two. And you find it fourth. Take a look at that replay, Dom, of Shibley looking like he had all day to throw, and then he was just waxed. But number 25, Pat Hall. And they're going to go for it, Andy. Possibly out of Dan Hoff's range. Oh, 20-yard line's definitely not out of Dan Hoff's range. They want that seven. They hand it off to... So oh, Hinman no. slips in the backfield, he's down, they throw a flag. A halfback pass was in order there for the Vikings. Never came to be as Hinman lost his footing. 
And Lakeshore will take over, and the Vikings' worst nightmares come true, not getting any points there on that huge break by the punt. What momentum has this got to give to Lakeshore? Yes, yeah, horrible, especially that horrible momentum shift, especially when they're on their own two-yard line. I mean, you can't, you can't get anything out of that drive. It's very unfortunate. Yep. Lancers will take over here first and 10 on their own 29-yard line. Enough time for them to put another one in. Doc here hands it off to Henderson. You don't want to get him breaking free. He's, He's got, got one man to beat. He's gone. Touchdown, Lakeshore. Not even close. Seventy one yards. Very, very impressive. He was gone. Henderson just busted through to the outside there. Just talked about earlier. Not let him get to the outside. He did just that. Seventy one yards later. Twenty two to three pending the extra point. Kick is up and it's good. As the Lancers jump out to a 20-point lead, Dom. And Andy, this is this is gut check time for Hazlitt. Look at the replay of the 71-yard run by Anderson. You see, he just cuts right back up the field. Walker was the only man he had left to beat, and he had a blocker up there with him. No chance for 55 for the Vikings. Dustin Johnson to catch up. 23 to three, make sure leads. Matlewski there talking with the ref. Possibly looking for a hold or clip there. It's too late now as Stevensville late awaits to kick off. Viking cheerleaders trying to get the crowd pumped up. He's gone very quiet. Viking Stadium is definitely quiet now. <laughs> I don't know what we're waiting for here. Well, there's still time left in the half, Andy. The Vikings can try to march down and get something before halftime. Some kind of momentum builder, because that run by Henderson. I mean, you, you put together, it's almost a 14-point turnaround, not getting the score and giving one right up to Henderson. Yep. Very tough break. Get set here is number 20, Hans Kopelfire kicks it off. Covered by the Vikings, close to about the 29 yard line, or excuse me, the 32 yard line. The Viking offense will take over again here. Get to find the end zone so far today. The Vikings have only been held out of the end zone in the first half once this year, I believe, and that was to foul ago. Yep. Definitely gut check time, Dom. Because they're already down 23 to three here in the first half with about 2.15 to go in the first half. Well, they've got the home field, they've got the crowd. It's up to them now to get it done as they have two receivers split out. Shively here looking to throw. Launches it up to Walker. Just out of his reach. Ball was overthrown there to the sideline near the 42-yard line in Lakeshore. We saw Shively looking for Walker, just overthrown. Bring up second and 10 for the Vikings as number five Chris Hunt checks into the game. Not looking so good right now, Dom. It's hard to, it's hard to stay motivated and focused when your team's down by 20 points. Think, things are bleak right now. Still, there's a whole half of football left to be played after this two minutes left in the first half. I can just got to hang in there. Shiba looking to throw, he's rushed heavily by number three and he's sacked in the backfield. Shiba's got to get rid of the ball there and he's, he's, get, he's getting plenty of time from his offensive line. However, he's brought down the backfield. Bring up third down and very long for Hazlitt. I mean, you said, we said they needed the big play when it was a 13 point game. They got it, didn't execute. Now they find themselves even behind Morris. Yep. Be a timeout there on the field. I believe Vikings took a timeout down. Let's go, Big Blue! 
Sadlewski trying to say something to his team. I mean, down 20 points. There's not a whole lot you can say. Very impressed though with uh, Stevensville defense and also their offense too, down. Just uh, their seven and three record doesn't do them justice. Wasn't sure on that play on the Vikings last series and in the seven yard line whether Shively was planning on keeping the ball there, throwing the ball. But nevertheless, that was the turning point of the drive. Yep. Not oh, sure, because this could be a 16-10 game right now. Could be, but. 23 to three, Vikings find themselves down by 20, third and 18 yards to go. Yep. Shively here looks over the defense. Gives it off to Eric, Peter's the other got reverse. He's got some running room. Gets the first step, or I'm, I'm sorry, gets Close to the line of scrimmage. I don't know if Peter knew where the first down marker was there. He was rushed out of bounds by number 25, Hall. Bring up fourth down for the Vikings, and then he'll have to punt. Good creativity by Coach Atluski there. I think you have so much time left still on the clock here for well, you, you the question, answers. You question, Andy, why you saved that play for third and 18. Yep. When they're expecting the big play. Some uh, heartfelt uh, cheers from the fans. Not really, that's sarcasm. <laughs> Shively gets set here to punt. I don't know exactly what we're waiting for. There's no TV timeouts. I don't know what's going on. Now he gets set here. Shively gets set here to punt. Lancers aren't even gonna rush, they're just gonna let Shively get his punt away. Number 25 gets back. Catches it, Murray brings him down quickly inside the 10. So it's 137 here, Lancers get another chance to shot at the end zone, Dom, and if they put another one in, you can pretty much close the books on this game. And a big chance, or excuse me, big chance here for the Viking defense to establish something going into halftime. Yeah. They have them in, or at about the 10-yard line, I believe. It's a generous spot considering he fell down at the five, like five or six, but I'm not the referee. That is, that is correct, sir. Lancers take over here, first and 10 on their own 10-yard line. Doc hands it off, though. The big, the big fella, Tallis, rumbles close to a first down. Tallis carried that right up the gut. He's slow to be getting up here. Looks like he might be hurt on the play. I hope the big pullback's all right. Seems shaken up. I'm having trouble staying positive now, myself. There's not a whole lot you can say. Nothing's going right right now for the Vikings. Well, they've run into a Stevensville team that's very good and they're well prepared. Yep. It's up to them whether they can overcome it. This Viking team is explosive. We've seen them do it many times, Andy. They haven't had to come back, though, from a deficit like this. No, not a 20-point not a deficit. Even in the Romulus game last year, Dom, yeah. it still wasn't a 20-point deficit, I don't think. Oh, well, it was? Excuse well, yeah, it was 34-14. Uh, oh, excuse they were me. Able to, <laughs> they were able to come out in the second half and win that game. That was a different team. I think this team has just as much character. I think they're just as capable to do it. It's a question of going out there and doing it's up, it. It's up to them to do it, Dom. We can't do it for them. The fans are behind them, but they can't do it for them either. It's all up to the guys on the field. Be uh, first and 10 on the 21-yard line with 1.23 to go here in the first half. Doc hands it off to, pitches it out to number 45, Eric Eller. It's close to a Lancer first down. About a yard and a half short, Andy. Actually, about a yard short, excuse me. 
number 20, Joel Gutsky checks into the game for Hazlitt. Saying a less than the yard, they're going to bring the chains out. I think the refs gave him a generous spot myself. Oh, it'll be second down. Can't give them anything else before halftime if there's any nope. hope of coming back in this one, Andy. That is correct, Al. They do get the ball back after halftime, so they're playing two possessions here. Very unfortunate that that, uh, that botched punt by the Lancers didn't end up into anything. Except for seven more points for Lake Stevensville. Yeah. Number 45, Eller barrels forward for a first down. That'll stop the clock here to move the chains. About 1.11 here to go in the first half. First and 10 now for the Lancers on the 37 yard line with one minute here to go in the first half. See Doc in a shotgun formation. There's a fumble. fumble. Doc's going to pick it up and run. Fumbles the ball again. Vikings got it. Vikings got it. Here Vikings we go. Get it. Here we go. Come on, offense. Get the ball back here with 47 seconds. Like to get. See, Doc survived one there, and he was yep. unable to get the ball. Or the ball did not roll out of bounds on the second one. Vikings recover. Need they, at least a field goal. They to need stay in something this. here. Yep. No question about it. Vikings need points before halftime. This is their chance. They've had many already. Be first and 10 now on the 45 yard line for the Vikings. Look to be, they gotta be going to the air, Dom. They don't have enough time to run the ball here with 47 seconds. No. They are also, they don't have any timeouts left, Andy. Nope. Complete to Walker, Laro it's to number 22, Eric. Shades of Romulus last year on the Barnhart oh, yeah. Eric pitch. <laughs> be first down for the Vikings. Look at the replay of the fumble by Doc. You see number 43. With it. With it Matt Wittit having an excellent game here today for the sophomore. Great game there for the youngster. First and 10 on the 33 now. Vikings need to get something down. They need points. Shabu's got time to walk her right through his hands. Incomplete. Ball thrown in front of Walker, a little short. Great effort by Walker to try to get the ball. shabby has got to keep that ball in the air a little bit longer than that. He's also got to look around, too, as number 28, Alex Williams, is standing wide open, too. Was he? Oh, yeah. He's got to, he's got to look around the field a little bit more. No favorite target's got the hands, but he's going to have to mix it up. There's mix it, it up. Well, here we are, 38 seconds, second and 10. It's a long ways for Dan Hoff. Complete to Walker. Smart gets out of bounds for another first down. Very smart for him to get out of bounds. Great footwork by Walker to stay on his feet, get out of bounds with 33 seconds left in the half. Great clockwork use by the Vikings, or clock use by the Vikings, rather, as they have the ball now at the 17-yard line, first and 10. First down on the 17-yard line. See sophomore Chris Hunt in the game. So he'll be utilized here. If you think about it, Dom, it could be 16-10 uh, right now, and the Vikings could be threatening to, to go up here before half, but... Could be. Just need to get something games here. work out, Andy. Yep. Shively looking to throw to Walker. Shively threw it a little early. Walker wasn't even turned yeah. around. Walker just turned around at the last second. Tough break there for the Vikings. Second and 10 here from 17. 30, we are, we are in J.J. Danhoff range if it needs to be. You know the Vikings want seven, though. Yep. Well, definitely. 23 to 10 is a lot closer than and 23 to 10, you're dealing with possession game. Yep. Especially the way the defense have, has been coming alive here lately for the Vikings. It's possible. Aside from the one big play to Henderson, yep. they've been solid. They need seven, though. Shively throwing it up to there to the end zone. Overthrows number 20, Alex Williams. Thrown a bit too far there by Shibley. And good coverage, too, by defensive back for the 
Lakeshore Lancers, Josh DeGraff. He's been all over the place so far in this one. Third and 10 now, 25 seconds left. They want to play for the first down and they can't get out of bounds. They still have time for a quick spike. Yep. They don't, they don't have to go for the whole 17 right now. If you want to play out of bounds game too, you can also do that. Need to get something. But down. You, need, you need it to happen right here. Yep. You don't so want to face fourth down. As Williams and Hunter out wide for the Vikings. Shively going to look to throw here. He's got Throws it into traffic. That's a catch. That That's is a, a catch. catch. Oh, come on. That's a catch. They said it was down incomplete. Andy from here, that looked like a catch by Chris Hunt. And now J.J. Danhoff is going to come out, attempt a 34-yarder. Not. And take a look at that replay, Don. We'll see ourselves here. We're going to take a look at the slow motion by a crew. Fine work. Shively had a nice pass. She had a protection. defender bearing in on him as Eric picked up the block. It's tough to see from here. Can't really tell there on that slow motion. It looked like a catch from up here. I thought it was a catch. Danoff gets set here for a 34 yarder. 30. Kick is blocked. Walker picks it up. Runs backwards and he's sandwiched. And everything that's gone wrong, or could go wrong in this first half, it Andy has. has. Walker had trouble getting the snap down, holding it down. You're gonna, you're gonna see Stevensville take a knee here and just go into halftime with a 20 point lead. Yep. Nothing has gone right this first half for the Vikings. Tough break too there. I don't know, that could have been a touchdown there to Chris Hunt there. I don't know, the ref saw it down from up here. Looked like it was a catch. Nevertheless, Stevens will probably just take that knee, like you said. The ball's got to be thrown higher, nevertheless. Yep. And that's where we're going to end up here. I'm going to take a knee, and right now your Vikings are in a tremendous hole, Dom, and it's not looking so good. This is not what they expected. This is not what all the fans here expected today. This is certainly not what you or I suspect, nope. suspected, Andy. But nevertheless, they are down 20 points at halftime. They've got to put it together here in the second half, and all, some kind of comeback. This team is capable. They have the players to do it. They've got to be led by Shively, Coach Atluski's got to make some good play calls if we're going to get it done today. Well, they're just not having any breaks, too. The, the, the momentum is just stalling out. Yeah, there. that's true, Andy, but you, you make your own breaks. You have the yeah. ball twice inside the 20-yard line there. You yeah. have to get something. Yeah. And the offense was unable to get it done. Well, nevertheless, uh, Lakeshore Lancers are on top here, 23-3 to over the Vikings, and we'll be right back here after halftime for the second half of play. Foundation is a voluntary 21-member group of Hazlitt residents, including representatives from the Board of Education and the Hazlitt School Administration. The foundation was formed in 1989 to generate resources to fund programs, activities, purchases, and events which typically fall outside the district budget. The foundation seeks to enhance the educational experience of all Hazlitt students and play a role in making the community a better place to live and work. Since its inception in 1989, the foundation has received contributions exceeding $250,000 and has contributed between $20,000 and $35,000 annually to the education of Hazlitt students. All parents and community residents are encouraged to participate as a trustee or volunteer for foundation activities. If you are interested in more information about the foundation or wish to make a contribution, you may write to the Foundation for Hazlitt Schools, P.O. Box 615, Hazlitt, Michigan, 48840, or call the Hazlitt School Administration Office at 517-339-8242. Back here for the second half action of Hazlitt Viking football. 
where at halftime, Yor has a Vikings trail 23 to three. This was a half characterized by mistakes and missed chances by the Vikings, as well as some big plays by the Lakeshore offense, such as the flea flicker and the 71 yard touchdown run by Antoine Hand Henderson. Sorry, Dom, I was a little bit in awe there still, just looking at the scoreboard, 23 to three. It's unbelievable how big of a deficit but the Vikings have been in this uh, position before. Last year, um, during the Romulus game, they were down t by 20 points also. So On two different occasions. It is possible to come back. Team, team, this team is capable. They have the players to do it. They've got to come out in defense, make a stand early. Lakeshore puts points on the first possession of the second half. It's going to be a, might be a long offseason for Hazard. Yeah, it could be definitely a long half for the Vikings, too, if they don't get something started. So we're about 33 seconds away from the start of the second half. Alewski's going to definitely have to pull out some tricks on his sleeves. He's got to use them, too, on first and second down, Andy. He can't be doing that third and long when the defense is expecting trick plays and such. We'd also like to take this time to announce that TV25 brought home two first place awards and two finalist awards. On October 22nd, the Central States Region of Alliance for Community Media held a ceremony in Michigan City, Indiana, recognizing cable access winners in Philo T. Farnsworth's video competition. Philo T. Farnsworth, rather. They won first place for high school basketball coverage in the Hazlitt High School News Magazine, HHS News. They also won two finalist awards for the high school live announcements, the weekly update, and one for the overall quality of the educational station. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Danoff gets set here to kick, kicks a squib to number 31, Brent Sandler. I can't pronounce his name. <laughs> Need a little help there on that one, Dom. We're going to go down to Lawton Lunt in the field. Lawton, what do you have for us? As the Vikings go into the second half down by 20, here's some first half statistics. Hazlitt being doubled in total offense. Lakeshore has 198 yards to 90 total yards. There's also three sacks on Nick Shadley has put a huge dent in Hazlitt's total rushing yards. They only have 15 for the first half. Stevensville, 152. That was parked by Antoine Henderson's big 71-yard touchdown run. But we know the Hazlitt Vikings to be a very good second half team. So we'll have to see what happens in the second half. Now back upstairs, Andy and Dominic. Thanks, Lawton, there for the insight. Doubling our yards. How often does that ever happen, Dom? It's a rarity, as you saw Doc there on first down. Scamper for about four yards. Bring up second down and 10, 39 yard line. Second or second down and six, rather. Vikings defense. Five men up on the line here. Need to get the ball back, Dom. Got to get it back quick. Time is a factor throughout, throughout the rest of the yep. game. Doc's going to hand it off to Henderson. Or, I'm sorry, Doc keeps it on the keeper close. It's about two yards two short, yards. Andy. Yep. Thought yeah. he gave it to Henderson there. First big third down of the half for either team. Stevensville Lake Shore now faces a third and a long one. Third and a yard now for the Lancers here. Watch him to pound it up the middle there with Henderson, who's very fast. They give it to number 45, Eller. He appears to have it, Andy. And he gets the first down. Another big, powerful back who's taking the place of number 44, Tolis, who got hurt. Well, Andy, already three downs, and they're already in the position, getting very close to Viking territory. Defense has to make something happen here. This place is still pretty dead, Don. Not a well, they, need, they need something to cheer about. Well, not a whole lot they're cheering about. They're doing the best they can, but yep. things have to happen for the fans to get into it. Yep. Doc, a handoff there to Eller. He's met right at the line of scrimmage. Nice pursuit by the Viking line as Butler and Murray were in on the stop. Gain of about a two-thirds of a yard in the play. Is that precise? Two-thirds. <laughs> not exactly. Okay. Second and eight here for the Vikings <laughs> on the 49-yard line. Of, or I'm sorry, second and eight here for Lakeshore on the 49-yard line of the Vikings. Generous spot there for the refs. I thought he may have uh, not even gained a yard there. Mm -hmm. That not characteristic of the officials today. Very inconsistent with the spots. That time they give it to Henderson, and he's going nowhere. Stays on his feet. However, it was called down on the third and a long eight for the Lancers. Third and long here, Viking D needs to come up big. Third 
flag on the play. Looks like there's going to be too many men on the field for the Lancers. Yeah, they did not get that last substitution off in yep. time. That'll take them back five yards. Break for the Vikings. Bring up third and 13. Be third and 13 now for the Lancers on their own 46 yard line with 9 12 here to go in the third quarter. Three split out to the right, Andy. Options is it out to Henderson. He's trying to get around side. Tripped up by number 24, Twitchell. Great play by the sophomore Twitchell. Inspiring the Hazel defense early on the first drive for Stevensville of the second half. Stevensville will be forced to punt. And they got to get things going on the offensive side now, Dom. Fourth and 15 now for the Lancers. Be nice to get a re big return here from Hunter Williams. They're both back to set to return the punt. Let's take a look at the replay here. As you see, great pursuit by Twitchell. Didn't allow Henderson to go any further than he already had gone. It's a good kick. Good kick there. Number 28, Alex Williams takes it, makes a few moves. Gets up to about the 33-yard line. Good field position there for the Vikings. They'll De take over. Decent field position indeed, Andy. First and 10 here for Hazlitt. They'll take over the 33. Their first possession of the second half. <laughs> Shively checks into the game, and now Vikings need to start getting with the offense. They got to get it going. I'm, I'm hearing voices in my head. Oh, they're gone now. <laughs> Inside joke with the crew here. First and ten. Okay. Hands it off to number 23 or 33 Hinman. Keeps running. He gets a first down. Good second effort there by Hinman Andy. As he took the ball right up the or right up the side. 12 yard gain. First and ten at the 45 yard line for Hazlitt. Eight minutes left here in the third quarter. That's a nice little spark there for the Vikings. Hands it off again to Hinman. Makes a few moves. He's got another first down. Good run by Hinman. Hinman getting involved early and often here in the Vikings' first possession. First and 10. Vikings trying to mount a comeback. First and 10 now, ball on the 42, or 41, excuse me, on the Lancers. Got to keep it going here. Offensive line's got to keep it up. They're doing a fine job. Hands it off to Eric. Slips. There's a flag on the play. Might, I don't know if that's an illegal block in or a face mask. We'll have to wait and see. It's going to be a big play, whoever it is against. Looks like I, I think it's probably going to be uh, on could the be Vikings. A, could be a hold. Big yes. mask on the Lancers. First big penalty break for the Vikings. That'll give them 10 extra yards, or 15 extra yards, excuse me. First yeah. and 10 has that's a 25 yard line. I was going to say, I saw Peter Eric's feet jerk out from underneath him. They're not going to do that too easily, even if he does lose his footing. That's going to get the, the Viking fans up and standing. They got to be doing this more often, Dom. They got to get them fired up. First and 10. Shabby's got to lead us to the end zone here, Andy. Yep. Oh. No, there's a mental mistake. That's going to be 57 Davich. His teammates letting him know that he's got to concentrate. Shabby had some words for the for the sophomore. And that's that's a killer. Uh, still first down and 10 at the 30-yard line. So plenty of time here for the Vikings. First and 15, Dom. I'm sorry, first and 15, Andy. Is that Eric? I think I was, no, it looks like it was coping there on the coping. run. May have gotten a yard. Got about two, Andy, I believe. They're up second and 13 here. Oh. Come on, they got to get something going. They can't, they can't have any more of the stalling drives. That's uh, just killing them. 
It's too slow, and Stevensville is starting to read. Let's go to the air here, Coach Atluski. And they're down by 20 points. You need to do something. Hands it off again to Hinman. Makes some moves. Hinman continues to impress on this first drive as he picks up nine yards. Bring up third and short here for Hazlitt. Big third down. Good runs all the way around by Hinman to start the second half, Andy. Yep. Be about third and four now for the Vikings there. Look at the replay. A nine-yard pickup by Hinman. So he goes off tackle to the left, cuts back in, picks up nine yards, and the Viking offensive line gets to the ball now. Big third down here for the Vikes. Hand off to Hinman. Not going to get that first down this time. Conservative call by Coach Yatluski there, Andy. I think you might be seeing four down territory here. I don't know, did he pick up any yards on that? I don't believe he did. I think he was lucky enough to get back to the original line of no, scrimmage. I don't know. I don't think they're going to give him any yards. Oh, they got to go for it here. They have to put points on the board yep. right here, right now. Need that first down, Dom. You've got to keep this drive alive, Andy. Hand it off to Eric. He's got Touch it. inside. He's got the first down. Excellent run there by number 22, Eric. The go-to guy all year long, number 22, Peter Eric, cuts outside. If you want anyone to pick up a first down and see the Viking crowd go nuts, it's, you want it to be Peter Eric. First down and 10 for the Vikings. First down and goal at the nine yard line. Good call by Coach Atluski. Look at the replay. See Shiley gives it to Eric. Good block by Colpeen on number nine, Josh DeGraff. First and nine, on the nine. Vikings need to punch something in here with about 5'11 here to go in the third They are quarter. yet to find the end zone yet, Andy. Go, Nick. Running. He's got He's it. He's got a touchdown. That's what I'm talking about. Great drive by the Vikings. Good play calling all the way around by Coach Yatluski as they cut this to a 14-point game with five minutes left in the third quarter. Excellent drive by the Hazlitt Vikings. And you see the balloons go up in the air. Great shot by our camera crew. Shively on the keeper on the nine yard touchdown run. It's about time. Pending the extra point. The Vikings have now cut this to a two possession game. This game is far from over, Andy. Looks that way right now, Dom. Dan Hoff gets set here for the extra point. Walker gets the snap down. It's good as the Vikings cut it to a Two possession game, 23 to 10. We're gonna take a look at the replay here, the touchdown by Shively when we get a chance. We see him with a long count. Excellent Takes the pitch. pitch to Eric and the pitch to Colpeen, or to Hinman rather. Hinman picks up a block. And it's all done by number, you see number 52, Jeremy Piscato getting it done all season long, the junior. Holds the box for Shively. Open space all the way to the end zone. Touchdown Vikings, 23 huge to 10. block. Look at that block. That was such a huge block there by, by Piscato. Opened him up. Fine player, Piscato. I'd like to see him kick it deep here, Andy. Yeah, definitely since they shut down uh, Lancers last time on their offensive drive. You want to kick it deep. You want to pin him back there. Get the ball back. March down the field again. Put another one up. Make it 23-17. And you hate to keep mentioning Andy, but what could have been if just some of the drives would have worked out yep. better for Hazel. Oh yeah, I know. But you can't look back on that now. Still a ball game. Let's see what they can do on defense here. Dan Hoff gets set here to kick. A lot of times between kicks. Yeah. Let's shout out some, some, some of the fans. Dan Casey especially looks excited to be there. The official weatherman. Yes. I will be taking his job. <laughs> no offense, but it's mine. The ball's lined up in somewhat of a squib-like form. Squibs it away. I got a... Dom, I really ought to gotta, I hear you. Gotta yeah. question those calls. You know, they're giving them excellent field position there on those little maybe, squibs. You got to kick it deep and pin them. Maybe Coach, Coach Atluski knows something we don't. See number 82 on the play, I think, Shane we know quite, I think we know quite a lot. <laughs> what are you talking about? It is very likely that he does know more than us. I know. So. <laughs> See the defense and get it done here. I'm just messing with you. 
Defense is going to be definitely uh, taking over this game, Dom. Doc's going to hand it off there to Henderson, who's going absolutely nowhere again. Snuffed out by number 77, Brandon Dutcher. And Henderson has words for Dutcher. And Dutcher fires right back as some extracurriculars take place. Stuffed right on the play for a loss of a yard, second and 11 here for Lakeshore. Great play by the Vikings up front. You feel the intensity rising here. Got to stick to our game plan. Starting to a little bit, Dom. The Doc's going to hand it out to Henderson. He's brought down by Gutsky. Look at Joe Gutsky penetrate into the backfield. Stops Henderson for a loss of three or four yards. He'll pick up third and 15, third and 17 for Stevensville Lake Shore here. Defense playing absolutely fabulous. Need one more play, big play here. And they can go three and out and get the ball back. And Peter Erickson is now on the sidelines, encouraging his teammates, getting ready to go back on offense, pending the third down here. Watch the pass. Doc is looking to throw. Dumps it off to number 44, Tullis, who gets, no! I think they're gonna call a face mask. On Williams, I'm not sure. The coach was complaining over there and they threw a flag. Oh, if, that's, if that is the that's case, a backbreaker. That's, that's a horrible. That's, that's a wait to call. Personal foul. And that is what you cannot have at this point of the game, Andy. Your defense just makes a huge play, about to get the ball back. You give them 15 yards in the first down. Yep. Coach Otluski is not a happy man right now. Uh, I don't think it's an automatic first down. They were third and 17, so I think it's going to be third and about two now. I always, I thought the rule was personal fouls or automatics. Depends where they spot it. It, it, it is, is a first down, and Defense got to suck it up, make it happen again. It's a shame. Nothing you can do about it now. It's a bad mistake. And I, and I really like how the official throws the flag once Lakeshore's coach starts screaming in his face. Gutsy call. Yeah, real cool. Lancers will take over here first and 10 on their own 46 yard line. Tough break there. Is Doc's gonna keep it? Hit right at the line of scrimmage. I don't think he gained more than a yard down. He is brought down by number 43, Matt Woodett, having a great day today, and number 30, Ben Murray. Bring up second down and nine after the one yard pickup. Really impressed right now. You see the senior leader, Peter Eric, Andy. Yep. You can't see it on your TV at home. A, trying to encourage a lot of the players on the sidelines. The kind of leadership you want. Need to get the ball back here because we're getting close to the, about the three minute mark here to go in the yeah. third quarter. Time is running. Uh, they've got two receivers split out. Oh, Chris Hunt's on him too. They're gonna hand it off to Henderson though. He gets maybe about three. two yards, three yards. Be about third and about six. Well, third and six is a lot tougher to defend than third and 17. Yep. Vikings got to get it done here on third down. As Wittett checks back into the game for 24 Twitchell. Watch out for Doc and look for the pitch wide to Henderson. You've seen all day today that he can get to the outside and penetrate with a lot of speed. Well, they also have that big 45 Ellis back there, too, who can just pound oh. it through. Or, El or Eller, excuse me. This is a long six yards, Andy. Got to do something here. Doc's going to keep it, and looks like he's going to pitch it out there to Henderson. Tripped up in the backfield again by Gutsky. That'll bring up fourth down. And I have to wait for the referee to make sure if it's okay with the Stevensville coach if he doesn't throw a flag. <laughs> Just joking. Fourth no, down. No, you're not. Fourth down here. And Stevensville will be forced to punt. Vikings will get the Vikings ball back here with about two minutes to go here in the... Excuse me, 150 now here to go in the third quarter. They need to take advantage. Yep. This is their this is their break. Two great three and outs by the defense. They had to do it twice following the personal foul. Kicks away. That's high bad. squib. Not a very good punt. It's a bad punt. It's gonna take a Stevensville bounce and it's gonna get close to about the 30 or 28 yard line. So that's where the Vikings will take over there. Lucky break for Stevensville. They got about seven or eight extra yards. That was a poor kick. Nevertheless. As you look 
at a very nice band, Brianne Elizabeth Melton of Okemos, holding up the TV25 sign. And Devin Fox plays with her hair. That, that's for us, baby. That's all us. <laughs> Atta girl, I'm loving that. Sweetness, I'm liking that. Be first and 10 here on the 28 yard line as they give it to number 22, Eric, who loses a couple there. yards. He lost a yard there, Andy. Bring up second and 11. Let's see what Coach Atluski has up his sleeve here with a minute to go in the third quarter. This third quarter has gone by very quickly. So far, nothing's been working too well up the middle, but outside, it's been working very effectively. Working outside, Eric and Hinden have both been effective the outside. Not, they don't have as quick as quick as backs there on their outside as they do up the middle. So, might as well stick with what works. Shively's going to keep it. Hangs onto the ball. He's hit. He's close. He's about a yard short of a first down, yard and a half, Andy. Nice job on the keeper by Shively. Good blocking by the offensive line. Be third and about a yard or so, two yards. Coach Atluski's really got a thing before he sends in the play here. 30 seconds here to go in the we third quarter. They're to hurry up offense. They have a late substitution. As he comes up the field. That should be too many men. Hands it off to Hinman, who I think he's, he's got it. He is very close. I, extra stretch is going to put him very, very close. As the time winds down here in the third quarter. He didn't, he didn't get it. He didn't get fourth down. Oh, oh, what a kind of spot is that? It's a horrible spot. They, like, brought him back a yard. Well, third quarter is going to come to an end here. Quarter dominated by the Vikings. They played strong on defense. And they held serve on offense. 23 to 10. They trail by 13. I think you're going to see Coach Outlewski go for it here. As he, he's encouraging his offense on the field right now. And Andy... This, is next, this next quarter is the most important quarter of the lives of all these men. Yep. At least for the seniors. They're at home here. They're down two scores. They got to make it happen. Got 12 minutes to change. A lot of time left, Dom. 12 minutes for the next 12 years of their lives. Ooh. Little, uh, varsity blue action there. Varsity blues. <laughs> Where's Mox when you need him? <laughs> no, it's not Mox. It's Mox. Mox? Mox. My bad. So it'll be fourth and a long one yard to go. Big play here for the Viking offense. You might see him go to Eric here. He is the most powerful of all the backs. Try to get the first down. This is the this is the game breaking point, Andy. Yep. So you give the Stevensville back the ball right now. It might be uh, they might just milk that clock. And they have the backs to do it. Yep. Let's go, Viking offense. Come on. Fourth and a long one. Don't jump offside. Snap, they give it to number 33. Hinman hangs on to oh. the ball, gets the first down. Ball nearly popped out there. Great job by Hinman, Andy. First down, Vikings. At the 37-yard line. I'm sorry, the 41-yard line. Great play. Good call by Coach Yatluski. We are now 10 seconds into the fourth quarter. Time is a factor. Yeah, they definitely got to get two Look scores. Look at the replay the there. Just see hurry. Hinman go to the outside. Lunge forward for the first down. Hand off to Eric. Loses a couple yards. It's been a tough day for Eric. He hasn't had the best of blocking, and he's had some bad footing problems. They'll bring up second and 11 here, second and 12 for the Vikings. Second and 12 now for the Vikings on the 40-yard line with 11-14 to go here in the fourth quarter. May seem like a lot of time down, but it's slowly ticking away. Handed off to Coping up the middle. He's off and he's running. Tipped up, he's going, go, baby, it. yeah! Touchdown, Vikings! Boy, Chris, yeah! And a baby, Chris Coping. <laughs> Chris Coping, the junior, with a 60-yard touchdown. Yes! Pulls the Vikings to within a possession. Do you believe this? And a baby, Chris. Unbelievable. 
Oh, <laughs> wow. Holy cow, that's all I can say. Here's Dan Hoff with a big extra point, Andy. He's got it. And with 10 minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the game, your Vikings, with two touchdowns there in the second half, have pulled within six points. Look at the replay of the touchdown here. Excellent blocking. As you see, number 52, Jeremy Piscato holding his block. Coping had a scene. That's all he needed. It was a foot race the rest of the way. He got to the end zone. Touchdown, Hazlitt. Sorry, that was kind of loud. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little excited. This is a very exciting game here with under 11 minutes, Andy. I think, you're gonna, I think you are going to see Coach Atluski kick deep here. If he's going to try another squib, he's going to try to squib it deep. I need my Ridlin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm OK. Yeah, you definitely got to pin it back there, especially the way the defense has been playing. You know, Get the ball back. 10 minutes is a lot of time. Plenty of time here. As this place has absolutely come alive, Dom. Visions of Romulus, Andy. Yep. As you can hear now through the great audio work of our crew. Loud bunch, eh? Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Dan Hoff gets set here to kick. Kicks it semi-deep. I'm going to let that go out of bounds. That's going to be a legal uh, procedure. Legal procedure, five yards. He'll bring it up close to about the 30-yard line. I think I'll put it at 35, Andy, if I'm not mistaken. We're with 10.55 left. Vikings defense. We need one more series, fellas. Yep. Come on. One more huge stop. Can't let Henderson break out to the outside like he did well, earlier. They've been containing him in the second half. Oh, Gutsky's done a phenomenal job back there containing yes. him. Your score is 23-17 with 10.55 here to go in the fourth quarter. It'll be first and 10 at the 35-yard line, Andy. A generous spot again from the officials. As much as I love them, they've been giving them generous spots all day. First and 10 for the Lancers. They hand it off to number 45, Eller. Right up the gut there Lowers by the Eric pool. Eller. As he just ran over with it. Still a fine tackle by the sophomore. Four yard, three yard gain on the play. Second and seven here for the Vikings. Would it to might defend be a against. Shaking up there, Dom. I mean, Eller just flat out ran over him. Impressive <laughs> run by Eller. Look for that trickery stuff again here with that flea flicker. They're going to give it to Henderson. Looking for some blocking. He's got none, and he is brought down by number 52. Andy, look at Jeremy, Jeremy Piscato. Doing it on both sides of the ball. The key block for Colpeen's run. And now on defense, holding Henderson at bay. A loss of about a yard on the play, third and seven. Very important third and seven for the Lancers, too. Oh, I can't take this stuff anymore. You going to be OK? No. I need some aspirin. This is just getting to me. <laughs> third and five. Or third and six, rather. Doc's going to look to throw. Oh, just off the hands of number 40, Walker. Breaks up the pass still. <laughs> Ryan Walker, great pass defense. Nearly had an interception. He might have gone for six points there. Nevertheless, three and out once again for Lakeshore. It's going to be Viking football with 9.39 left in the game. I don't know, we haven't seen any trickery yet from Lakeshore, but you, no, you never know. Afternoon football is great, isn't it? No, <laughs> I can't handle this. Andy, you want me to get you a blanket or something? How about a pillow? Oh, God. There's a punt, kicks it away from Alex Williams, the number five, Chris Hunt. Good takes, Viking bounce. Take a nice Viking bounce to about the 26, and that's where they'll take over. Dang, you're loud. First and 10 here for the Vikings now at the 27-yard line. They'll take over with nine and a half minutes left in the game. 
big plays by the defense. Unfortunately, Walker couldn't come up with the interception. Still, momentum is definitely oh. swung to the Vikings. Just gotta keep it going. Just the proper play calling, Andy. Yeah. Can you believe this? They're 73 yards away from taking the lead in this game. Never would have thought being down 23 to three at halftime. Counter to Eric. Eric carries it for about four yards. Nice run to him. Good pick up by Eric as he ran through, through on the counter. Five yard gain, second and five for the Vikings. You see the Lakeshore defense obviously very tired. They've been on the field a lot here in the second half. Just uh, the Vikings got to do what we said in our very well done intro, I might add, that uh, but Hazlitt is a fourth quarter team and they wear down teams and so far right now, they're starting to wear down the Lancers. They've been out there a long time. It's number 33, Hinman gets the first down for the Vikings. That's, yep, he's got enough, Andy, providing we get a semi-decent spot as we look at the great signs made by many of the cheerleaders and parents from around Hazlitt. Let's go Vikings, we want some action. That's how you sing it, but I'm not gonna sing it for you. Aw. First and 10 here Come at the 39 on. yard line. Be a sport and sing. Come on. No. Fine. Not my forte. Fine. You're gonna be that way. First and ten, Andy. I've lost total control of myself up here in the booth. Yeah, I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> Gives it off to number 23, Coping, who... He got about a yard, Maybe Andy. a yard. Bring up second and nine here for Hazlitt. We are approaching the eight-minute mark of the fourth quarter. Bring up second and eight yards to go for the Vikings. See Ben Murray turn on his offense. Hand it off to Eric. Eric's making some cuts. Hangs on to the ball close to another Viking first down. He's probably a yard short, Dom. Peter Eric's about a yard and a half to two yards short of the first down, Andy. Very good spot by the official. That's going to put him about. Yay. Oh, he might have it, in. Yeah, that's a first down. That's a finally a good field position. It all for starts us. to even out. We are just short of midfield. The Vikings trying to put together a, a drive to take the lead. 7:49 left in the game. Shabley comes up to the line, looks over the defense. Hard count. Got it. Shabley keeps it. it on the keeper. Great block there. Hold on to the ball. Hangs on to the ball for about a six-yard gain. Humongous block there by 57. Steve Davich. Steve Davich. Otherwise, Shively would have been cut down right in his tracks. Great block. That was a game of about six yards, and he's second down and four here for the Vikings. Now into Stevensville Lakeshore territory. See one of the Viking coaches firing up his troops. Fans have become alive, too. Hand it off to Eric, hangs on to the ball. Looks like he may have lost the yard in the initial play, but still manages forward for about maybe a yard. He might have got back to the original line of scrimmage there, Andy. Conservative call there. Bring up third and three. Big third down for Hazlitt. Yeah, big, big third down right here for the Vikings. This is it. This is four down territory without a question. But you don't want to be in a fourth down situation. Hand it off to number 33, Hinman. Barrels forward for another He's Viking first, first down. down. Running he, backs getting it done, Andy. Hinman and Eric and Colpine all together. Hinman has played phenomenal today. What an asset they've been to us. As the Vikings are now inside the 40-yard line. With 6-16 here to go in the fourth quarter, Vikings are moving the ball down the field nicely. They're just wearing down the Lakeshore Art defense. First and 10 for the Vikings on the 39 yard line. Give the coping, gets hit, hangs onto the ball, gets maybe about three yards. That's a gain about, they're gonna give him a spot, they're gonna give it about a yard and a half gain there, Andy. Bring up second down and about eight and a half to go, nine yards. Wow, my eyes are terrible then. 
Yep, we're gonna give him only a yard. So it'll be second and nine now for the Vikings. Vikings looking for the touchdown here. Field goal won't do it. Nope. Scheiber looking to throw, he's got Walker. Complete. Yeah, he's got it, he kept that in. It's gonna be about third and probably about three, four yards to go now, Dad. Walker lost his footing at the end. Another fantastic catch though by the senior. Bring up third and about two to get the all important, I'm sorry, third down and about four yards to go for the all important first down. Be third and three now, they're gonna spot him closer. Another, long three. another big third down. Or down territory, Andy, as we said before. Hand it off to Eric. It's gonna be about it's gonna be fourth down and a long two yards, possibly three yards to go, Dom. Gotta go Lake, for it. Lakeshore snuffed that out right from the snap. We saw Eric going to the outside there. Kept him there for about a half yard loss, give or take. Fourth down. Fourth and down. three. This is the game. Yep. I don't know what you're going to see here. You might see, you've seen Hinman already on third down on many occasions. Not on fourth down. You might go to the air, Andy. I don't know, Dom. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> going for the keeper. Didn't get it. And that's going to do it. Lakeshore snuffed it out and they will take over. That's gonna take over and that's probably gonna do it for the ball game. Uh, there's still four minutes, Andy. Still a lot of time left in this one. Are you contradicting me? <laughs> Vikings defense needs to come up with one more big series here. Gotta go three and out here with Stevensville. Yep. It's a tough break. Some confusion there on the keeper. Erg. All Lakeshore now has to do is just give the ball to that man right there and just kill the clock. Keeps his feet pumping, gets think about three or four, three, maybe. four yards. Good, good read by number 52, Piscato. Second and six now for the Lancers. I don't know if the Vikings got enough time left on the... Now they got all three of their timeouts. They can get them three and out, they will have substantial yeah. time to mount a final drive. That's the hard part though, gotta get them three and out. You give up a first down, then they're gonna start to milk it. Doc keeps it on the keeper, he's got the first down. Yeah, that is a first down. Caught the Vikings defense off guard there. Stevensville picks up the first down. <laughs> Much to the delight of the Stevensville cheering section. First and 10 here, just short of midfield. First and 10 for the Lancers. Pounds it up the middle of the Eller. Vikings have got to, we got to stop that run a little bit more. Better than that, there. Give up seven yards on first down. Keep doing that. They're just going to run the run this clock away. Yep. Got two minutes and 46 seconds to go here. Be a timeout on the field. Vikings chances starting to run down here, Dom. Coach Port trying to encourage his defense there. Just seeing the huddle. They've got to fire up. This is the entire season right here in these final two minutes. Players, I know, realize that. They've got to get it done on the field. Really needed to get that first down on that fourth yeah. and three. It's a tough break. No. Nope. I couldn't see what that play was. That designed to be a keeper? I don't know. But there's a lot of confusion. Eric and Shibley right next to each other. I wasn't sure what the call was. We'd also like to point out this is our last home broadcast for our seniors. For for football. It's the last home broadcast for me and you as, uh, as well. We'd like to congratulate our crew, Laney Lowerman and Kelsey Barnes, and our advisor, Brian Towns, that do a fine job for TV25. We are nationally recognized. So thanks a lot, guys. 
Do you need a Kleenex? No, I'm okay. Okay. Second down for the Lancers. Doc's gonna keep it on the keeper. Close to a first down. It's gonna be third and short. Now this next play, Andy, is probably gonna make or break this game for the Vikings. Yep. Vikings call a timeout. Is that their second they've taken that now? That is their second timeout. They've they one to burn. Manning. It's going to be a short three yards. That's all they need to get a first down and keep yep. this clock moving. That's exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Very impressed, though, the way they fought back, being down 23. It's admirable. They had the chance to take the lead. They were just unable to do so. Yep. We'd like to remind everyone that after the game, there's going to be a presentation of the regional championship and some medals, so we'd like you all to stay with us for that. I'm not going to take anything away from this Lancer team, though. They're very well coached and a very good team down. Toughest opponents we've faced yet. Still two and a half minutes left, Andy. See what the defense can do here. I don't know. They need a stop. Not to be pessimistic, but need a stop right here. Doc's going to keep it on the keeper. He's got the first down. Nope. Is he short? They say he's short. Oh, what a break for the Vikings. But New life. They just spent their final timeout. That is their final timeout, but if this is fourth down and they are going to punt, we might get one more shot with the ball. I don't think they're going to punt, Dom. You might see him go for it here. Yep. They'll go for it, keep the clock running. They want to hang on to the ball. No, Andy, they want to punt. <laughs> really, no. I hope they do. Punt the ball. Arrgh. So, very important fourth down here with 2.27 to go in the game. Lakeshore leads 23-17. Just times. It's running out here, running out of chances here. One more, uh, one more first down is going to probably do it. Vikings definitely need to pick it up here and stop them. They're going to go for it, Andy. Watch for that keeper again, the Doc. It's been working so far. Or a pitch to Henderson. And a half yard, they have a receiver open. Wayne's got to cover him. This comes Vikings. down. This is, this is the season right here. Vikings can't jump offside here. There's a flag oh. on the play. Please, God, let that be on Stevensville. Yes, it yeah, is. It is. That's going to take it back five That's yards. That's going to take it back five yards. Fourth and six now. Fourth and six. That is a lot different than fourth and one. Now you might see Stevensville punt. All we need is one more chance with the ball, Andy. This can go out on our terms. Are they still going They're for still it? Going They're for still it. going for it. Don't jump off sides here, fellas. Concentrate. Crowd on the line. They got to spend a timeout. Great anticipation by the defense not to jump off sides there. They knew exactly what Doc was trying to do. They didn't bite on it. They're going to punt. Well, you see here, as my partner is detained, I'll take over for a moment. You see the Viking defense doing a great job to shut down this Lakeshore offense. As we see here, they are indeed going to punt. That is number 20 for Lakeshore. Hans Kopenhofer set the punt. On fourth and six here with 2.27 left in the game. Vikings have to field the punt. No turnovers, no fumbles, no mistakes. Short punt. Chris Hunt's going to take it. Makes a fake. He's got some running room. Not a lot. May have lost the yard there. Vikings will take over here with two minutes and 15 seconds left. They got no timeouts, Dom. 
They have to play the sideline game. Clock will stop on first downs in high school and college football. There's a lot of field to go if they hope of any, have any hope of winning this game. And as you uh, heard, the winner of this game will play the Grand Rapids Creston football team in the semis next week. They beat uh, Bay City John Glenn, 35-21. My alma mater came up short today, but it happens. <laughs> First and 10 on the Vikings' own 10-yard line. Well, so they can hand off the ball to the 23 coping. Coach Jalewski's got to go to the air here. Yeah, Time is a definite factor. There's You're two 90. minutes left, and there's no timeouts left. I don't know why we're running the ball. 90 yards away from the end zone. We do need to go to the air here. Shives looking to throw, complete to Walker. He's got a first down, that's gonna stop they got, the clock. They gotta get on the ball, Andy. Clock will stop, they gotta get up to the line. I don't know why they don't keep doing the same little thing, same little dumps to Walker for about 12 yards. Those seem to work. Ball at the 23 yard line, pick up a 13. Vikings gotta hurry here. Clock will run as soon as the ball's set. Clock is running, 145 here to go right in the fourth quarter. Shively looking to throw. Tipped off the hands of number 45, Eller. Nearly intercepted there. Vikings dodged a bullet. Any turnover here ends the game, literally. Yep, that'll stop the clock, though. Second and 10 here for Hazlitt from the 23. <sighs> There's going to be false start there on the Vikings. Is there? Yep. Legal procedure. Legal, legal procedure. You can't have these kind of. Well, it does give them an extra down if they decide to yep. accept the penalty. Yep, they accepted it. Still, they got a long ways to go. 138 here. First and 15 now for the Vikings. Not looking so good. Long ways to go. Hand it off to Eric. What character by Eric to stay in balance as long as he possibly could. Fine run by Eric to the outside. Gets to about the 24 now. Be second and about second and nine. Nine yards to go. Problem with plays like that, Andy, is that they take a lot of time going east to west. Yep. You got to throw the ball. He did get out of bounds, however. Minute 30 here. Time's a factor. Yards are a factor. It's gut check time. Shives got time to throw. Oh, throws it away from 84 Thalen. Looks Thalen like the, had a step there. Looks like the ball slipped out of his hands, and that's going to be third and nine. A lot of pressure here. Third down and nine. Vikings need to put something together. No One, question, four down territory. You don't want to be in a fourth down position. Nope. We saw last time at the 35. Best you can hope for, Andy, is that we can get in position to win the game. Minute 26 here, third and nine. Got to do something, though, on these third downs, though, Dom. Got two receivers split out. Shives looks to throw. Throws it to Walker, incomplete. That, that would have been close to a first down, Andy. Here it is, fourth and nine. This, this, this is, is the, the Vikings. final game play of the season, pretty much, if the Vikings don't get a first down. This is it right here. See Kira Crafton trying to intensify the crowd here. Fourth to nine. Vikings need nine yards to prolong their season and dream of the Silver Dome. Otherwise, Stevensville will advance to the next round. Come on, Nick. Shives looks to throw. Throws it completely away from number 40, Ryan Walker, and that is definitely going to do it. That pass wasn't even close, Dom. I don't know what that was. I don't know what the call was in that play. In Stevensville Lakeshore be the first team here in two years to come into Viking Stadium and come away with a win as they will down the ball to run off the clock. Yep. Vikings had their chances in this game, Andy. It's unfortunate. This team has shown a lot of character and a lot of heart this whole season. Lakeshore will take a timeout here. Yeah. But I'm very impressed, though, the Vikings managed to come back being down 23-3 to when the yep. game looked like it was completely over to pull within seven. And Steam just kind of ran out there at the end, though, Dom. Well, they had, they had, their, they had their golden opportunity oh, when yeah. intensity was high. They had the ball at the 35-yard line after Colpin's huge run. Defense stuffed 
Lakeshore. They got the ball back. They just couldn't move any further. And that fourth and three call might be questioned as to what it exactly was. But nothing you can do about it now. Nope. Don't take anything away from Stevensville Lakeshore. No, they were a very good team. football team. They deserve to win. <coughs> and you really, you got to feel bad for the guys like Peter Eric. Yeah, feel bad for Shively. the seniors. Yep. We worked this so hard group, after last year, you know. This, this group helped the seniors last year to get to the Silver Dome. They had the same dream this year. They had a fantastic yeah. season, a season in which they dominated all their opponents. They had, they had big victories against Chelsea and against Gull Lake in the playoffs. It's got to be a lot of emotion on that Hazlitt sideline. Yep. Be uh, one minute here to go in the fourth quarter. That's got to be... Uh, it's got to be the worst feeling, though, for the seniors especially, though, Dom. Just gonna, you got to watch the clock tick out. And it's really hard to yeah. do. Especially since you said this first team in two years that has defeated the Vikings here. You know, a lot of character by the Viking team to actually make a game of this. Well, let's hope uh, Lakeshore goes out here being classy and not being... I'm sure they will be. They seem like a pretty well put together ball club. Yeah. Much congratulations to them. As they'll go in next week, though, they have a very tough task next week, though, playing uh, Grand Rapids Creston. Grand Rapids Creston, and my, me myself, I will be uh, going down to the Silver Dome because I have family members that their teams are still playing in, and it's it's a good experience just to go and watch. And that's going to do it. Because there's about five seconds here to go in the game, and that's going to do it. Is Lakeshore Stevenson Lancers have defeated the Vikings of Hazlitt, 23-17. Big congratulations there for the Lancers. I'm glad they were. All, I'm glad they're being classy, class act. You like to see that, especially from the Vikings too. We got a solid put together team, Andy. A team that consists of many great talents. The running backs were phenomenal today. Quarterback Doc, he was effective when he needed to be. Yep. He was good enough to get the win. Again, not ask anything more from your team. It's a very good little short team. They came into Viking Stadium, one of the hardest places to play in the state, and they came away with the victory. So congratulations to all of them. They will move on. Vikings will not. They will move on to the semifinals and Jackson. Not a whole lot you can say. Disappointing. This team showed a lot of character this year, Andy. They got nothing to be ashamed of. Nope. They walk off the field, their held up high. They almost pulled it out today. They had their opportunities. It just wasn't meant to be. I mean, these Vikings showed the kind of effort and heart that you have to have be a champion. Oh, yeah, you know, and definitely anyone, nothing to be ashamed of, too, Dom. You know, back-to-back -back ICL championships, win the districts, you know, come in and play a very, very tough Lakeshore Stevenson team. Momentum was going t with them towards the end, just didn't have enough to pull it out. And Heartbreaking loss, though, that's going to end the Viking season. And then the Vikings are going to have uh, 12 months to think about what, what might have been. We'll take a look, final look there at the Vikings and the huddle up and Stevensville celebrates their regional championship. Good luck to them. We, also here at TV 25, we'd like to thank all of our viewers that have supported us throughout the season. We'd like to thank the crew who has done a fantastic job. Yes, yeah, very. Couldn't have done it without you guys. For Andy and I, it was a great privilege to call your Hazlitt Viking football games, and special thanks go out to Mr. Town for giving us the opportunity to broadcast Viking football. And we had a lot of fun. As the uh, Lancers, they take the field. Big congratulations to them. The rough only, the road ahead only gets tougher as Farmington Hills Harrison is still out there. Also, Andy, on a personal note, I'd like to say hi to my friend Brienne and thanks for the sign. Thank today. you for the sign. Well, Dom. Um, that's going to do it for us here at TV25. It's been a great season. We've had a lot of fun. For your final score, the Lancers of Lakeshore, 23, and the Vikings of Hazlitt, 17. For Dominic Bacora, I'm Andy Hartman. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. <laughs>